shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris out on the Gold Wing. Out on the Gold Wing, the 2016 Honda Gold Wing, out for early morning ride. The current temp outside right now, I'm actually showing 64 degrees out on the 2016 Honda Gold Wing. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. But the traffic is still flowing pretty good. Traffic is still a little bit not too bad this morning. I know a lot of people are preparing for the Thanksgiving holiday that's going to be coming up. A lot of you are going to be traveling. A lot of you are going to be spending time with your family. And a lot of you are going to be on vacation. So what will you be doing this Thanksgiving holiday? Keeping my eyes on the traffic this morning. You gotta keep your head on the swivel when you're out here. Expect the unexpected. So it's a good morning for a ride. Traffic is not too bad. Like I said, I know a lot of you are preparing for the Thanksgiving holiday next week. Will you be hanging out with family? Will you be traveling? Are you on vacation? Come on by car, I'm watching you. So I'm just out here cruising this morning on the 2016 Honda Gold Wing, talking to you on my Center 50. Wearing my HJC I-90 helmet. Out here cruising around the mean streets of Memphis. So Thanksgiving is around the corner. And uh, I'm trying to think about what I'm going to be doing this coming up Thanksgiving holiday. I thought about getting out of town myself. You know, that's a good thing about here in the South. That the weather is always good. I talked to one of my relatives up north and they said they got some snow. <laughs> Y'all can keep that snow. If you live in the northern states, keep the snow up to the north. That way we can ride. Y'all get that snow and y'all go to putting down that that salt. And that salt is not too good on, on automobiles. That salt will rust out the undercarriage of a car in a minute. But here in the Mid-South, we don't get too much bad weather. Every now and then we get a little bit of snow, but for the most part, it's not too bad. And if we get it, it may not even last a week. So I'm out here today cruising, using my hot wire, heated gear as a windbreaker this morning. Like I said, the temp right now, I'm showing 64 degrees on the air temp. And I think the weatherman is actually calling for a high today of about 65 and I think later this week it's supposed to be in the mid 70s so it's gonna be a beautiful week so get out there and ride get out there and ride I know some of you probably have already covered up your your motorcycles <laughs> you done added your fuel treatment you done added your your stay bill to your Harleys trying to prevent those carburetors from rusting out man that ethanol is bad on the carburetor so if you're gonna be putting your bike up make sure you put some fuel treatment in the tank because you don't want to let that bike sit up all winter and then when you go to crank it in the spring and it will not start that really mess you up for that sets you up for a messed up day so put that fuel treatment in there and uh, if you're gonna cover the bike up, but I recommend it to ride it. I know sometimes I hear some bikers say, well, I'll, 
I'll crank the bike up and I'll let it run for a few minutes in the garage or, you know, I'll let it run in place. And that's better than nothing, but you need to, you want that, you want them fluids to circulate. You want the oil to circulate. You know, you want that antifreeze to circulate. It seems like when a vehicle or a motorcycle sits up for an extended period of time, it just seems like it doesn't, it seems like it doesn't run as good. You know, after a while, man, that metal go to breaking down, form and rust. So don't let it sit too long if you can help it. If you get a good day, snatch off that cover and ride. So I'm just out here cruising this morning, rambling on my 2016 Honda Goldwing. Still loving my baby. See what we got going on up here. Look like somebody had him. Look like they had an accident on the other side. Man, you gotta be careful out here, man. I'm telling you. Keep your head on a swivel. Keep your head on a swivel. Look at that traffic on the other side. Man, all those people coming in from the great state of Mississippi. And now the traffic is backed up like a Mexican outhouse. So when you're out here riding, man, you just gotta pay attention. Expect the unexpected. Try to put a little separation between you and the other vehicles. But it's hard to do that because it seems like nowadays people are just driving any kind of way. They'll ride up on your bumper. They'll get right up on you. They'll wait to the last minute to change lanes. Man, look at that traffic on the other side. Woo! I'm glad I'm heading south. Here in a moment, I will be crossing into the great state of Mississippi. The great state of Mississippi. Look at that traffic. So if you're coming into Memphis, you better use the alternate route. Because this traffic ain't playing this morning coming into Memphis from the great state of Mississippi. This is the gun line. It runs shack to shack, clear around the yard. We don't need no fences here at Camp 8, boss. We got the gun line. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. This is the gun line. It runs from shack to shack, clear around the yard. You are now inside the gun line. Because my trusty bar will put a bullet in your head. And if you run a file of bar, you run a file of bank. And in case you haven't met this handsome young fella, this is Hoppin' Bob. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. <laughs> and that's how you say it. If you run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. And you slick. Don't try to run, don't try to escape. One of my trustees will put a bullet in your head. You prisoners? And now the property of the state of Mississippi. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. And if you run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of Bain. <laughs> and that's how you say it. So I'm just out here cruising this morning on the 2016 Honda Gold. We're pulling the K&M 622. Headed south. Good day for a ride. Got an overcast out here. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Are you guys gonna fill up with Thanksgiving turkey this Thanksgiving? Are you gonna let yourself go? I know some of you probably been letting yourself go all year long. <laughs> That's all right. I'm one of them. So the weatherman didn't call for any rain this morning, but some overcast. I don't know if we're supposed to get any rain or not. Look like we might have had some rain that moved through earlier this morning. The streets are a little bit damp. So I'm just out here cruising on the 2016 Honda Goldwing. Not much to talk about. Just letting the fluid circulate. 
don't want this gold wing sitting up too long. I was talking to a friend of mine and he said, Chris, uh, you know, I think the writing is on the wall. I, I, I think you, I think you're probably gonna be selling that, your 2016 gold wing. And I said, well, why is that? Why do you say that? He said, well, you know, I saw you put on Facebook, make me an offer. I said, yeah, I did that, but I was actually responding to a comment, you know. I was responding to somebody that said, yeah, I want to buy that gold wing. I said, well, make me an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> I knew that would be the end of that conversation. But no, I don't have any, any plans to sell my 2016 Honda Gold Wing. I actually still love it. The first lady still likes the 2016 Honda Gold Wing. She'd rather be on it, so whenever she rides, which is not that often, she would rather be on the 2016 Honda Gold Wing. So I still like the big comfortable ride. I still enjoy it. And so I'm gonna ride it. Now down the road, you never know. You know, who knows? I may sell the 21. <laughs> down the road, you never know. You never know how God is gonna lead you. You never know what direction he may take you. You have one plan, he have another plan. And I know some of you out there say, well God said he'll give you the desire of your heart. Yeah, that's true too. But they say if you wanna make God laugh, tell him your plan. <laughs> Cause he, have, he might have a total different plan for you. So man, it's a good day for a ride. Matter of fact, I'm wearing my hot wired heated, heated suit, but I don't have it plugged in. It's starting to get a little bit cooler this morning. Let's see what, okay, it's still showing 64 in the air temp. That's with some of this cloud coverage that makes it a little bit cooler, but it feels good to be out on the gold wing. So what are you guys gonna be doing this Thanksgiving? Are you gonna be hanging out with your family? Are you planning on traveling? Or are you gonna just hang around the house? You know, with this COVID now, you know, over the past couple of Thanksgivings, I mean, you know, they was telling people to stay home and, you know, just kind of have Thanksgiving dinner with your immediate family and, you know, keep a small circle, you know, to, to prevent the spread of this COVID. Now they're out there up to what the, the third booster shot now you know they're saying uh the booster shot is out i think you can even even if you had the moderna you can take the pfizer if you had the pfizer you can take the moderna and so it doesn't really matter now which vaccination you had you can cross vaccinate to my understanding with the booster I think a lot of people are going to be trying to hang out with family. I think a lot of people will be traveling. You know, I don't think, I don't think too many families are going to let COVID stop them from having a good Thanksgiving. You know, I think a lot of people are tired of being cooped up. Haven't seen their loved ones in, a, in an extended period of time. And, if you can see them, you, you got to put on a face mask. And I think a lot of people are just, they ready to just, as they say, spread their wings. You know, they ready to get out and travel and, and go visit family and sit around the table. You know, do some of the things that we used to do. You know, we kind of got away from things like that. You know, case in point, these cell phones that we have. I mean, if you look at everybody now with a cell phone, everybody has their head down looking at their cell phone. You know, it seems like the cell phone now is, is what entertains us. You know, I don't care what you're doing, you can go to a doctor's office. Everybody's sitting down looking at their phone. You know, you could probably go into a movie theater and everybody's sitting down looking at their phone. So the cell phone entertains us. So I think we need to get back to some of the things that we used to do, like sitting around the table, talking to our family, talking about the events of our day, any problems that we might have, 
you know, just being more sociable with our family members and just coming together and just doing some of the things that we used to do. Cause we've gotten away from that. You know, like I said, with these cell phones now, man, it's like everybody's in their own world, you know. Everybody's doing their own thing. You know, the cell phones are entertaining us. They're programming our minds. So I'm just out here rambling, as you guys could tell. Just cruising this morning for a good ride. Wearing my hot wire as a windbreaker. I actually thought I was going to have to put on my my thermal one-piece suit this morning when I checked the, the temperature. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to slip on my my hot wire as a windbreaker today. And it feels good talking to you on my Center 50. Wearing my HJC I-90 helmet. Pulling the Can-Am 622. And that's what it's all about, getting out here riding, getting out here enjoying yourself, getting out here having fun. But keep your head on a swivel in the process. Man, I put, how many miles I got on my bike now? I got, a, I got, I'm coming up on 71,000 miles on this 2016. And that was one of the reasons why I purchased that, that new gold wing. You know, being able to take some of the miles off this 2016. You know, it's like having one automobile. You know, I can remember time, I can remember there was a time when, you know, I only had one automobile. And man, it doesn't take much to rack up the miles. You know, it doesn't take much. You know, they say 12,000 miles a year, but it, it doesn't take much to rack up 12,000 miles on one vehicle. And so when you wear that vehicle out and you try to go to trade it in, maybe you want to get a newer vehicle. And then they say, well, your car ain't worth much because you done driven all the life out of it. So I've always just learned to get more than one vehicle. And that way it takes miles off of the primary vehicle. So down the road, that vehicle will not be wore out. It'll last longer. It'll have a higher sale value, you know, uh, less maintenance that you have to perform on that vehicle because it's not being driven as much. So that was kind of my mindset, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about when I purchased my new Gold Wing, being able to just take some miles off of this 2016 Honda Gold Wing, just being able to take some miles off of it, because it doesn't take long to rack up the miles. Like I said, I'm at... I'm at almost 71,000 miles, so I haven't driven the, the bike a whole lot since July. And that's the reason why. But if I had, you know, just driven this bike like I normally would, I'd probably have 80,000 miles right now. <laughs> so it's good to have multiple bikes. It's good to have multiple cars. So I'm just out here cruising on the 21 Honda Gold Wing, enjoying it this morning. Need to put a little fuel in this bike. Top off my fuel. Wish I could find me some 100% gasoline. That's the best. If you guys can find some 100% gasoline, you know, that's great. Especially when your bike is going to be sitting up. You don't have to worry about that ethanol breaking down. And also, before I end this video, one of the things that I would like to ask you guys is that when you prefer to see me riding and making more videos on the 2016 Honda Gold Wing, or would you prefer to see more videos on the 21 Honda Gold Wing? I actually embrace them both. So I haven't given up on neither. I embrace them both. But would you prefer to see me riding and making more videos on the 2016 Honda Gold Wing? Or would you prefer for me to ride and you see more videos on the 21 Honda Gold Wing? Or do you just prefer both? Or it doesn't really matter to you. It doesn't really even matter. Put that down in the comment section below. 
Let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button. Next to the subscribe should be a bell. Click that bell notification. It'll notify you every time I post a new video. And don't forget to sign up for the Chris Caliente Facebook group. The hottest Facebook group in the land. Where we talk about anything and everything. All day, every day. This is your boy Chris. Out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. The most luxurious motorcycle in the world. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.